welcome back to Hilo Lux for luxury and style are attainable. Let's get right into the spring haul. I want to share a few of the like special pieces I got during fashion month. Uh, I did a lot of like vintage shopping. So I'll share some of those, some of my favorites, and then a few things I've gotten for spring. So we'll get right into it. Everything will be linked below if it can be linked. Um, this is from Zara. I link my makeup. I think I'm wearing all Pandora jewelry, um, except this bracelet, which will be a part of the haul. So tell anyone rambling, let's get into the video. I have accessories and bags. That's what's right next to me. And like, yeah, accessories and bags. And then I have like six or seven like items and I'll try them all on. I got you, I got you. So first up, the thing I am literally so excited about. And I'm really in this phase of like, for handbags, really just buying things that I've always loved. Maybe they're either vintage pieces or just older pieces that maybe when they were like really popular, I didn't have the money to get them or whatever the circumstance was, it just wasn't a priority. And this bag is one of those. This bag is just, let me just show you. Let me just show you. This is just, this is like 2000s amazingness and during this time when this bag was popular it's louis vuitton if you don't know and i don't know i put up the name of like the collection i guess i just remember like paris hilton had this bag like that was just like you know like i was like i think high school or around that time 2000s 2003 yeah high school um this was so popular and luxury purchases and luxury bags are just not even in my realm of reality <laughs> So this was just something I always, always loved. And I always would see the bigger ones, like once I started buying luxury things, and that was just like a little too overwhelming. And when I saw this one, I got this in Milan at a vintage store. I'm pretty sure I showed it in the Milan vlog. I'll link that at the end of this. Um, but it was a vintage store right outside of one of the presentations we went to. Me and the Yusufs shopped around. We all found something. Like it was a really nice store. It wasn't huge, but they had really good pieces. And I found this and I love, it's like the perfect size, like bigger bags are in and I'm just looking for bigger bags because I just want to carry more stuff, especially during the day. But it's a top handle. You know, I love a top handle. Like I, I'm not a crossbody girl. I love to hold my bag like this. So it's like I get that top handle feeling, but I also get to fit a lot of stuff in it. I'm in my, even though I'm wearing gold today, I'm really into silver lately and silver is a spring trend. I talked about that in the spring in the trends video. And I'm just so happy with this. And I feel like, these are really, obviously the 2000s are trending. So these are really popular and the price was amazing. If I bought this, you know, in the US at a popular, um, you know, resale store or vintage store, this would have been three or four, actually, let's look. Oh, oh my God, came right up. $5,400 is what it is being sold for right now. That's crazy. Oh, fashion file, I'll link, listen, it looks like I can find this a few places, uh, a variation of it. So I'll link some below. If you are interested, you like the vibe. Actually, fashion file has one for 1500. It's not the exact bag, but they have it for 20% off right now. So they typically sell it for 2000. So a little bit of a deal. In the summer, mm -mm. I need some silver sandals. Okay, next up is something I'm also very excited about. I've wanted it for a very long time. And for some reason, well, I had, a gold version of this bag and that just wasn't the vibes. This is a cool brand and the gold was just giving too dressy every time I would wear it. So I sold it. But I had been wearing this for so long. This is um, an off-white bag. I'll pop up the name on the screen. I got this from the Outnet. I always talk about the Outnet and I will link. I recently did a post of like my favorite things from the Outnet. I try to do random roundups frequently because they have so many good pieces but you gotta kind of be fast or check often. So I've been doing roundups on like to know it. So if you're interested, you can follow me there. But I'll link a few options below because they get a lot of drops of off-white and other designer things. But often you can tell when it's a drop because it's just like, you know, hundreds of things or, you know, a lot of things. So this was a drop the other day. They have this in black and they have it in white and they have like so many different variations. There's one that looks a little bigger. They also have a crossbody version. I will link them all below, but I'm so, so excited. I wanted this for so long. The Yusufs have this bag. The last time we went to Paris, my manager bought this bag at one of the stores we were shopping at. And I was like, I really want that bag, but I'm just waiting for the right one. I knew I wanted it in black and not white, and that's what I kept seeing. And I love that it has the white hardware. I'll do a close up, um, but this is just so cute. It says open this way and it has a little lock. Like it gives you that top handle, you know, flap feeling, but like 
a little edgier and I love that. This says insert money here. Um, it says 2021 here. And then it says pocket in the back. Oh, the pocket, I just love it so much. Um, and all the hardware is white. I love that. Comes with a long crossbody strap. I'm just so excited for this. So, wanted to share that. All right, and we have one more bag. I've been in my bag error. Listen, I've also recently sold a bag. Let me know if you want to hear more about that. It was a, it was, it was one of the, it was one of the big ones, one of the, the pricey ones. So, the next bag is literally spring, summer goodness I love a denim bag and I've always had a denim bag in my collection and I recently sold the last denim bag I had which was the Valentino rock stud I've had that bag for a really long time and I loved it um but the studs just I wasn't feeling it as much anymore it was a little hard to wear and when I think of denim bags I like them to be just like relaxed and casual and easy to throw on and that wasn't that but then I found this oh. this is by JW Anderson and I recently picked up this same bag in black leather with the silver here. I found it um, when I went to Atlanta at this store called Antidote. Super cool if you've never been to that store. It's like a concept store. It's beautiful, um, but they have really cool stuff. And I found this bag there in black leather for like 60% off. It was like a crazy price, like 300 bucks, um, which made me just fall in love with the bag style in general. And I was just on the internet and I saw it in denim. And I was just like, that, it's a denim bag it's easy it's you know this it fits a lot like this just feels like you can throw it on and not think that hard about it i love that it has the tan trim it gives me like western vibes then you have this like gold detail i love this bag i'm so 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 excited about this bag. it's so cool if you don't know jw anderson has his own brand but he's also the creative director at Valeve. so you get that like cool eclectic feel from his things but the price point is a little better so Yay, okay, that's, oh, one more bag. Let's get the bags out of the way. I I didn't get this, I got this before Fashion Week, but I wanted to share it because I really fell in love with it during Fashion Week. Um, and I'm heavily contemplating getting another color for spring, summer. So this is by Caperni, um, and it's just like this huge heart. It actually is not as big as it looks as far as like what you can fit in. It has a small opening, which I like, so you can't just like load it up. But it is just so fun, especially if you like a shoulder bag. It's a, you know, Something like, it gets people talking. Um, it's just fun, it's fun fashion. I love that. It's also like amazing quality. Like it feels really supple leather. I really like this bag and it's a good price point. They have it in a baby blue. And that's what I'm considering right now. It also came in, I like all the options because it also has like, they have a furry version right now. And then they have a few like really pretty pastel colors. And I'm like, do I get a, do I get a blue? I don't have a baby blue bag, but yeah. Absolutely love this. That's the last bag. Last bag. Now, of course, we have to talk about sunglasses. I only got two sunglasses recently. <laughs> Yay for me. The ones I'm most excited about are these Dior pair. Let me just wipe them off. I wore these um, in Milan. I found them in Milan. And it's hard to find a gold frame that photographs well and looks good in person. I've had a few. Like, I had a Fendi pair. I sold them. Um, and I've had a few pair where, like, Either they look good in person or they look good in pictures, but they don't look good both. These look good both ways. So let's, let me, let me try them. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. I don't want to mess my makeup up, so I'm just going to hold them. But I love, I mean, if you love a big oversized, you know, it's a very extra sunglass. It may be every day for some, it may be a special occasion for some, but I love them. I love, love these. Like I could have worn them every day. Like I had to be like, listen, don't, don't put them on again. <laughs> So love those, good quality, really like these. And then these are just fun. These are, are these Tom Ford? Yes, these are Tom Ford. I also got these in Milan and this is like very extra, but this kind of like shield style glass is very in, it's like trending. So, and I needed some more like statement kind of sunglasses and less every day, so. These also come in a few other colors. I was tempted to get the yellow, but I got the red because I don't have a red lens. But yeah, that's those. Those are the only sunglasses. And then I quickly wanted to touch on jewelry before we move to the clothing pieces, and I'm gonna try everything on. This bracelet and this necklace, I'll do close-ups of all of these. But if you remember, I think the first time I went to Pitt, not the first time ever, but, um, 
this time last year when I went to Paris Fashion Week with my agency for the first time, we went to a presentation by a brand called Goosen. Um, it was, I'm sure I don't have the clip, but if I do, I'll pop it in this video. But it was like a presentation with like a few brands like kind of in the same space. And I'm pretty sure they said that they make a lot of the jewelry for Chanel, like it's under the same fashion company. But I saw this piece there, I tried it on and I was like, oh my God, like I love this, like where can I buy this? And they're like, oh, it's not out yet. This is the new collection, blah, blah, blah. And I wanted it ever since then. Every time, like I started following them on Instagram and every time I would see them, I'd be like, oh, I need to buy that necklace. And I would go to the website, this isn't cheap. This, this isn't cheap, this is, this is real gold. And then I don't know what this is, I'll try to put it on the screen. Um, every time I would go to the website, I'm just like, God, that's a lot. You know, when something's not in front of you, you kind of forget how beautiful it was. And I'm just like, oh, that's kind of a lot for just like a necklace. And then we were in, the last time I was in Paris, we were driving past that down some street somewhere, going somewhere. And I saw the store. I was like, oh my God, that's that store where I've been wanting that necklace. But we were on our way somewhere and we kept driving. And then the next day we were, me and Josh were walking from something and we walked past the store. I was like, oh my God, I think this is the street. That store was on. We walked past and I was like, I have to go in. And this was sitting right there. I was like, you know what? Today is the day. I'm, I'm gonna get this necklace. So let me try it on, show you. And then I saw this bracelet. And I was like, I've always wanted a statement cuff that's like, you know, you don't have to wear anything else. It just stands on its own. But typically I'm not a big bracelet person because I have really small wrists. So things typically just look crazy. But they had this in several sizes. So this is a small size and I love it. It's so beautiful. Let me try the necklace on so you can see. Oh, this isn't the right outfit, but it's just, it looks like something vintage. Like it just looks, it's so beautiful. And I would be down to get more pieces from them. Like they just have beautiful things. So wanted to share oh, that. And I have one fragrance I wanted to share that I have been loving and it is by Fumi Monet. She is a content creator. I follow her on TikTok and Instagram. And she sent this to me and I'm not like a fragrance expert, but I know what I like and like what, you know, what I enjoy. And this, I'll put up all the like notes or details, but it is warm and sexy. That's how I like to describe it. But I wanted to share this because I really like this. I traveled with this um, during fashion month and it's just so nice and I'm so proud of her. Like that is a huge, she does fragrance, fragrance content. So, but she created her own fragrance. So wanted to share that, it'll be linked below. All right, now let's get into the clothes. Let me grab them and then of course I'll try it all on. But these are things that I am like so, so, so excited about. So this is all like very new stuff because obviously before this I was just shopping for like fashion week kind of stuff. But now I'm getting into like spring goodies. So these shorts, I just talked about the outnet. I can't recommend them enough. If you want to get designer things for less, it is like I have the app and I am just, I just peruse every morning. I move things to my wish list. And you know, this was on my wish list for at least a month. And I finally bought them like two days ago. They just came yesterday. <laughs> they are these leather shorts by Saint Laurent. And they are just, Let me see what the let me see what the original price was because these are stunning. They have this embroidery detail on them all down the sides. You should be seeing like a close up too. But they are stunning and I was looking for a leather short all winter and I couldn't find one. The one I used to have doesn't fit great anymore. And I wanted something a little more updated too. The ones I had were like a paper bag waist and I'm just not as into that style anymore. But I could not find like the one, you know? So when I saw these, I was like even <laughs> Even with the discount, they were still pricey for shorts. But I also was like, you wear leather shorts so much. I wear them all the time. I wear them all seasons. I wear them with tights in the winter. I wear them in the summer. I wear them in the fall with boots. Like I can wear these in the spring with sandals. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear these. So they're just so beautiful. Oh, let me see what the price, what the savings was. But highly recommend, you can go in the app and you can also, they have men's and women's. So Josh looks at the app too. And we found like some cool stuff for him too. Like he has like an off-white sweater he got from there. Um, but you can like put your favorite brands in there so that when you go on the app, you can like just go straight to like all your favorites. And then if you shop on there 
a good amount, you get like early access. Like when they have like certain drops, it's something called front row. Where like you have, I have a little section on my app that's like all the new stuff, which is very nice. I actually didn't check it today. Like they have everything though. Right now they have like, they had a Bottega drop. That's where I get a lot of my Dries and Noten stuff. They have like some YSL bags. Really, really, let me focus. Oh, I didn't even realize this. These shorts were originally $3,900. $3,900, which doesn't surprise me. They're real leather, like this like this intricate detail, like embroidery, not shocked at that price for YSL. I got them for $8.26. And when I got them, they had been on my wish list for like, like in my wish list section for like a month. So the price kept going down and I was just like, it was meant to be, it's meant to be. And then when I finally bought them, they were final sale though. So that was a little risky because I couldn't return them. Okay, moving on, I can talk about them forever. Jeans, I'm all about trying to find like special, unique, just fun denim. And I found these by Area. Let me buckle them. And I love Area, they just make fun clothes. And I found these wide leg jeans with a cutout, just so cute for spring. And it comes with this little built-in belt. I'm not a huge belt girl, so I love that detail. And then they have a little heart on the butt. These are so cute and they just like wide leg, kind of casual, but also you could make them dressy. I love the wash of these, just super cute. I don't need to like rant and rave about them. These are new seasons, so they're full price, but I wanted to share because I know you guys like special unique denim like I do. So I'll share like maybe like a roundup of denim too below, but I'm very, very excited about these. If you like cool denim, that's a cool option. Next up a denim skirt. <laughs> because it's not spring without a denim skirt. And this skirt, you're gonna die, okay? We all know the Attico Cargos that I love. If I could buy every shade or color of those, I would. Like, I literally can't, because you can't find them anywhere. So, when I saw this denim skirt from the Attico, this cargo denim skirt, it was an immediate, yes. Look how sunny. Like, really. Look how stunning. Um, fits true to size. I would even say, I got a 27. Yeah, fits true to size. True to size. Like typically in skirts, I would need to size up, you know, cause I like to have, I don't like it too tight. I don't like to have, you know, too tight on my like thighs. Um, but I would say this, you can get your regular size and it has that kind of like loose-ish feel around the hips. It's so cute. It's like watercolor kind of is the vibe. They also, this also comes in like a jumpsuit pants. They didn't do it in just jeans, but they did it in like a jumpsuit. So, I love it. Like, I like things that just do all the work. So Jock Moose is like one of my favorites for white tops. And I just got this one. Um, it's just like a cropped button up. I love a good button up, but I love to have variations of it. So, this one is super cool. And it just kind of like is cropped, but not too cropped. And then it has these ties. And you know my other favorite top from Jock Moose that has the ties? I wear that so much. I was like, let me get another option. Next up, this is a fashion we find, but I needed to share it and like really let you see the detail because it is stunning. It's this suit by Rotate and I'll pop in the pictures I took, but this is the most, like if you enjoy a suit and like tailored pieces, but you want it to be special, you have like a cool, event you're speaking somewhere or like some type of conference or meetup or this <laughs> there are no words like really i think i'm gonna wear this to my meetup actually i have something with the dc bloggers in like two weeks i think i'm gonna wear this it is so beautiful like the way it glimmers in the sh in the sun but it's comfy it's faux leather this is by rotate i'm sorry i'm just like going on and on this is by rotate they actually sent this to me and i like could not believe it was like a real dm and they were like oh we'd love to send you something me me um and it comes with pants a jacket and i don't have the top with me but you're seeing it on the screen uh, and like a little tube top or it doesn't come but that's the whole set if you want to buy it um it's just it's silver with flecks of purple and turquoise and yellow it is snakeskin it, it's so beautiful so i just wanted to share i know this is new in so of course it'll be linked below but even if you just want a fun pant like it's so beautiful like i'm so so grateful they sent this to me and that i have it 
Lastly, I do have a pair of shoes. I haven't gotten that into um, spring shoes yet, so I don't really have a lot to show because it's still like, you know, 50 some days. I'm still going back and forth between like boots and sandals, but I did find these on the outnet. <laughs> they were also in my wish list for like ever, and finally they went down to like a hundred dollars. These are just Giuseppe Zanotti, you know, I love that brand. And this is just like a good wedge. They're like comfortable. It's giving me Western vibes. And you know, I have a lot of Western like style boots. But I, I thought this would be a good alternative. I have these in like gold and I wore them a lot the last time I went to Miami. So I felt like when I need to wear a heel and like that warm weather type of climate, this would be a good option. Like I don't wear wedges a lot, but then when you need them, these will come in handy. So you're excited. That is everything. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you want to see next. Um, I think I'm going to vlog the meetup I'm having. Let me know if you're interested in that. Um, it's with the DC bloggers. So maybe it'll just be like a weekend vlog. Maya will be with me so she can get like help me with get a lot of footage. But of course, let me know what else you want to see below. Um, I feel like we need to do like spring summer trends. Um, we're going to do a closet kind of update. I literally just got a new Ikea system or like sections today. And I'm kind of like just going through, you know, we always do like the purge and, you know, take out the winter stuff, put in the summer stuff. So we'll have a closet organization video come up, coming up. And then let me know what else you're interested in. So I think that's everything. Of course, check the description box. Everything will be linked below as best as it can be. I think that's everything. Thanks for stopping by. See ya.